I, I definitely feel as a team we're we're getting better. Um, you know, I know maybe it's not necessarily reflected in, uh, in our record, but uh, certainly feel like we've been a lot more competitive in uh, in each of our games over the last couple of weeks. And uh, you know, sometimes it's just it's been a bad stretch here or there that that kind of does us in. Uh, you know, with each of the conference games that we've lost, uh, was certainly encouraged. Uh, I guess going chronologically, you know, Georgia State game, you know, we played well on the road, you know, first Sun Belt game, of course, and uh, we were right there in the last couple of minutes and uh, and had a chance, just couldn't close it out. Um, and then the next one, of course, being Arkansas State, obviously a very talented team and a well-coached team and, and uh, was certainly encouraged to be up one at the half um, and, of course, let it get away from us, unfortunately, in the second half. And then... With the road win at UT Arlington, uh, I thought that was huge for our confidence. It was our first win away from home for starters, and uh, I thought we really defended well and rebounded well. Uh, again, and even the Texas State game, you know, to be tied inside of a minute uh, with a team that I believe was picked to finish third in the conference was certainly encouraging. Uh, again, just couldn't come up with a key stop when we needed it. But uh, we, we've had issues with consistency, you know, whether whether it's with individual players or just a little bit uneven in terms of uh, it, it seems like on nights that, that maybe we defend well, we don't rebound well, or we might do, we might rebound well, but we don't defend. And, uh, and of course, we've had our issues with, with turning it over all season long, I think averaging over 20 turnovers a game. So uh, just kind of a matter of putting it all together and and having some individual players, you know, both in the post and on the perimeter, just maybe being a little bit more consistent with their performances. Hey, Coach, our uh, first questions uh, come from uh, Monroe. Uh, Call us, please identify yourself and go ahead. Hi, Coach. It's Tabby. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing well, Tabby. Hope you're doing well, too. Yes, indeed. Uh, I was, you know, we talked going into Texas State about the win against UT Arlington. Did you see that that win really carried over with just the team's confidence on the court and, like you said, trying to be more consistent? Yeah, I, I think it helped a lot. Uh, you know, again, I wasn't entirely sure what to expect, uh, to be honest with you, going <laughs> into that game Saturday afternoon. And, and I say that just because, it, you know, Thursday night was a pretty emotional win and certainly expended a lot of energy. Uh, to, to win as convincingly as we did in the last couple of minutes. And, and you know, again, it, it, this is new. You know, as you and I have talked about, it's new to a lot of these players, whether it's the upperclassmen or the freshmen. So I wasn't sure if we were going to come out a little bit flat uh, on Saturday or, or, you know, plenty motivated. And I was encouraged by the fact that, that we were uh, – so we came – we played with great effort. And we just uh, – we didn't rebound well, obviously, coming off of a game where we just ended. We were plus 18 on the boards on Thursday night, and unfortunately we were minus 11 uh, against Texas State. But, uh, but we, you know, we gave ourselves a chance to win. Like I said, to be tied in the final minute, you know, if, if we get a stop, you know, in that situation, we're going to have the ball with the last shot of the game. But um, So I, I do think that gave us a lot of confidence to, to, to win away from home and, and, and in the fashion that we did it as well on Thursday, and uh, I, I think if nothing else, it, again, should hopefully, when we're in those situations in the future, we should be able to, to kind of fall back on that experience. Yeah. You talked about, uh, this is new to a lot of, of your players, whether it be the upper class and the new, the new additions, just because of losing so many starters last year. What is one of the biggest messages that you try to convey to the team about carrying it out on the court that you're really encouraged, that's really kind of starting to take shape and be carried out on the court by the players to where it seems like things are coming together and being more consistent? Yeah, I, you know, as simple as this may sound, just, just <laughs> being competitive every single possession. And I, I don't know that I could have said that about us, you know, before Christmas, to be honest with you. And, and, uh, and I think we're – Maybe the light's kind of coming on in there, and of course we try to simulate that in practice every day. And, and virtually every drill that we do is, you know, we're keeping score, and so they know there's a reward <laughs> and uh, there's a deterrent uh, to losing. And, and I do feel like we've come a long ways uh, since coming back from Christmas in that regard, and, and that's given us a chance. And I, I think we understand that. You know, given our situation, uh, whether it's lack of experience or uh, what have you, that you know we have to be the team that just battles you every single possession in, in all phases uh, to, to give ourselves a chance. And we're probably a little bit undersized. Uh, you know, we're starting a 5A post player in Christina Gray, uh, and again, we 
again, I think the lack of experience is, is you know, we've uh, certainly covered that. But uh, so we had, you know, we we have to play as a team on both ends of the floor, certainly, and and uh, so I think we've really improved in that area. And, and you know, of course, as you and I have talked as well, that uh, when you're when you're picked to finish last, you know, and, and mm-hmm. understandably so. Uh, you know, certainly there's no pressure, and there's not a whole lot of expect, expectations that anybody has. But as we've talked about, it as a staff, and, and certainly with our players, is we can't go in with that mindset of uh, you know, oh well, we're we're a last place team. And and uh, and, and well, I've been encouraged by the fact that that's not been uh, that's not been a problem at all. Uh, once we've jumped into conference, that we, we think of ourselves at a, at a higher level than that. Yeah, it's de- definitely evident watching your team. Uh, last question for you: Going into this little home stretch of having Florida and UALR coming to Monroe this week, uh, just what what a good timing this is because of what you were able to take away from the Texas trip, and, and maybe being able to you know get some more wins while being at home and, and in a place where you only have one loss this whole season. Yeah, it, it should help, I, I, and I think uh, you know our team, and probably like most teams, is maybe just plays with a little. Just a little extra energy, a little extra focus, you know, when we're at home. And, and uh, you know, like you said, obviously the one, unfortunately, one bad half against Arkansas State. But, uh, then again, they had a lot to do with that. So uh, mm-hmm. I, I think it's important. You know, we, we really don't talk a whole lot about various goals. I, I think the only thing that we've really discussed was, hey, it would be great if we could make it into the Sun Belt Tournament and uh, to finish in the top eight. Uh, and certainly to do that, you've got to have a lot of success at home. And, and you hope that you can win the overwhelming majority of your home games. Maybe you can get splits on the road, you know, like we did this past weekend, uh, to, to give yourselves uh, uh, an opportunity to finish in the top eight in the Sun Belt. Yeah. All right, Coach. Thanks so much. See you Thursday right. night. Sounds great. Thank you, Tabby. Thank you, Tabby. And uh, thank you, Coach. That's, uh, that's all the questions we have for you today. We do appreciate your time, and uh, best of luck the rest of the way during the season. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.